Hi friends, this is the last part of our SSA English previous question analysis. Uh, most of the questions uh, included in this part are from general area. So the questions included are likely to be repeated in the next SSA exam too. So let's go to the questions. Uh, first question, yeah, we start with 71 because all the 70s uh, are already over. Uh, first question is uh, the branch of linguistics that deals with the study of meaning uh, changes in meaning and the principles that govern the relationship between sentences or words and their meanings uh, it is called semantics phonology morphology or uh, syntax the correct answer is uh, semantics uh, okay, semantic is basically you can say it's a study of meaning as you can see here. This is study of meaning. Okay, study of meaning that is basically what uh, semantics is. Then you have here like uh, morphology that is a study of uh, words, study of words, and uh, and phonology uh, that is study of speech sounds phonology speech sounds study of speech sounds that is what phonology and uh, syntax as uh, may be very familiar to, to you this is the you know arrangement of words and phrases in a in a language simply uh, syntax is the structure okay uh, that's the syntax means in basically uh, next question question number 72 the word grading is derived from the word gradus to belong to uh, Greek, Latin, Roman, or German. The answer is uh, Latin. Okay, gradus is a Latin word. It is, this is the grading. The word grading derived from Latin grade, uh, word uh, gradus. So. These types of questions will be there. It is uh, from uh, as per the last syllabus, uh, the current syllabus. This is from the uh, fifth module. In uh, in part B, this is from the fifth module. So, the origins of languages will be there in the in the question paper in the next question paper too. So, uh, from uh, today onwards, you will have to check the origin of words uh, when you find when you check the meaning of a particular word, and. Uh, this is going to be very crucial and, uh, and another thing you, you can find this uh, meaning uh, in or uh, you know in many online dictionaries like there are etymology dictionary available uh, online and it is also there the origin of words are given uh, in uh, dictionary like uh, Oxford you can refer to Oxford dictionary too you can find the, uh, the origins of words and there are some questions which are related to vocabulary. Okay, move on to the next question. 73. Uh, American equivalent of the British word Alsatian. Alsatian. Equivalent word is German Shepherd. That is the American equivalent of the British word Alsatian. Uh, it's like, it's a large large dog okay this these dogs are used for police work for example this is a big large dog and to the next question it's also vocabulary related question antonym of zenith antonym of zenith the answer is neither the answer is neither uh, so zenith is actually the point in the sky or a, cel a celestial sphere directly above an observer. This is the a point directly above the observer. And nadir is actually the point uh, on this uh, uh, celestial sphere directly below an observer. Okay, nadir is below 
uh, the observer and uh, zenith is above the uh, observer so uh, these questions are you know you will have to look through some of these important uh, words and and, and uh, a suggestion uh, that i want to uh, give you is uh, you can check the vocabularies in uh, you know high school texts like 8th standard 9th standard 10th standard you can go through all the you know glossary part of the english textbook and you can find the origin of such words the opposite words uh, antonyms synonyms synonyms all these kinds of things okay move to the next question question number 75 give one word substitution that's it uh, person animal or object consider likely to bring good fortune what is the uh, word for that a person animal or object considered likely to bring good fortune something which is likely to bring good fortune okay so answer is answer is mass score that is the answer and question number 76 synonym of chora synonym of chora okay uh, a big vehicle a mortal disease a loose rope a toy for kids what is the correct answer it's a loose rope a loose rope option c that is the correct answer so basically it's a large piece of cloth that is wrapped wrapped around the head and our upper body mostly this uh, chador was uh, is worn is worn by muslims muslim women 77 one who can use both hands one who can use both hands equally well uh ambi ambiguous ambiguous ambivalent ambidextrous which is the correct answer correct answer is ambidextrous ambidextrous okay so actually this uh, ambi uh, meaning ambi is a latin uh, origin so this means on both sides and ambi okay on both sides it is from latin uh, you know language and next question let's move to the next question 78 what is the main feature of objective testing options are it requires judgment on the part of the scorer it doesn't require judgment on the part of the scorer it may lead to partiality while evaluating it demands descriptive answers what is the correct answer of course you can say these two are not the and ans- correct answer it may lead to partiality never goes to partiality in when it comes to objective testing uh, and it demands descriptive answers it's also wrong and maybe the answer maybe it requires judgment on the part of the scorer or it doesn't require judgment on the part of the scorer let's take the answer option b it doesn't de- require judgment on the part of the scorer so uh, when it comes to the objective uh, question and uh, you know judgment or bias from the scorer or the examiner should not be there there should not be any judgment from the part of both the scorer and the examiner okay then only the test will become objective next question 79 discourse method uh, is suitable to teach poetry prose grammar none of these discourse method so it's a teaching method uh, it's an english teaching method okay uh, the uh, answer is uh, grammar grammar discourse discourse method is a 
you know better way to teach grammar uh, there are uh, so many methods like direct method uh, grammar translation method audio lingual method or uh, army uh, method and this one discourse method uh, uh, is actually a way of uh, teaching uh, grammar uh, in in which you have this authentic written or and spoken discourse authentic written and spoken material is uh, materials are used uh, to teach uh, to teach grammar okay for example newspaper articles uh, letter uh, uh, if it is audio materials you will have recorded conversation or recorded phone calls all these things uh, are used okay to to teach the sentence structure grammar etc that's what this discourse method is all about uh question number 80 what are podcast what are podcast a uh, device used to keep classroom clean audio sometimes video programs on the web technique of syllabus framing equipment instead of blackboard what's the correct answer what are podcast yeah you might have got the answer yes audio or sometimes video programs on the on the web that is of course podcast question number 81 use of audio visual aids can options are provide speed for the teacher make the students lethargic uh, stimulate greatest number of senses give more work to the students uh, you will get the answer just to use common sense yeah teachers speed cannot be considered when it comes to teaching of course you have to consider the interest of the students of course it it will never make the students lethargic or it will never make the class boring so it's not going to be the answer it never gives more work to the students too so of course the correct answer is going to be stimulate greatest number of senses okay okay question number 82 whose ideas inspired transformation transformational generative grammar options are sashur emson carl jung noam chomsky you may know the answer the answer is of course uh, noam chomsky this uh, transformative uh, transformational grammar or you can say tg uh, grammar uh, this idea uh, came to prominence after noam chomsky published uh, his famous book syntactic structures it was published in uh, 1957 syntactic structures and uh, you know this uh, tg grammar it's a device for uh, generating sentence in a in a language it's like you know uh, grammar has this is what he said grammar has recursive rules grammar has recursive uh, rules uh, which uh, uh, allows one to generate grammatically correct sentences over and over again through the operation of a small number of transformational rules like addition uh, you know replacement deletion etc uh, it's uh, nothing uh, using a basic structure uh, of a particular language uh, one can create a lot of sentences an infinite number of sentences uh, in a language using a particular structure okay uh, for example uh, uh, boy uh, is in the park for example is a sentence uh, uh, here you have a, a noun clause and a verb clause here you can expand this noun clause by the boy and a tall boy you can say a tall boy Uh, is in the park uh, then you can expand uh, then again this is the uh, noun clause this is the verb clause and you can you can also expand this is in the park like uh, the tall boy 
is in the park uh, which is uh, near near the garden or near the uh, you know waterfall like that okay again it is still the uh, verb uh, phrase so you can make infinite number of sentences using a particular structure or a finite uh, structure that is the idea set forth by noam chomsky in his famous book uh, what syntactic structures okay we can maybe probably discuss this later and then question number 83 which method in elt is governed by the maxim proceed from known to unknown which method in elt uh, options are direct method bilingual method grammar translation method or audio lingual method so it's a method of teaching uh, you know english of course uh, proceed from known to unknown is direct direct method okay uh, it's a method of teaching language not just only english uh, teaching language uh, when uh, you know using this technique when you use this direct method for teaching you have to use only the tar the target language okay if you are teaching english you have to use english only uh, you know for communication and uh, the inductive method is used in direct method that is it. that is why we can say this is from known to unknown that is inductive method okay and 84 which of the following is not related to reciprocal teaching option options are dialoguing questioning writing and clarifying okay yeah of course the option is writing this uh, reciprocal teaching it is an instructional activity that takes the form of a dialogue between teachers and students so basically it's a you know instructional uh, activity it's a teaching method uh, in which basically what occurs is the is actually the, the, the dialogue dialogue between teachers and uh, students okay and uh, it's a, it's also a reading technique okay to promote reading comprehension and this involves it, it involves four strategies there are uh, like there are questioning there are clarifying and of course i said direct dialogue uh, dialoguing is already there then uh, apart from this you have summarizing and you have predicting summarizing and predicting these are the four strategies used in this reciprocal teaching writing is not there okay it's basically a reading technique and 85 the research method used for solving a real problem in one's own working field is called case study experimental research action research historical research okay Uh, solving an immediate problem then the answer will be action research okay solving an immediate problem and let's look at these things later uh, in detail move to the next question question number 86 who is the author of the book basic principles of curriculum and instruction answer is ralph tailor okay it's about uh, educational purpose this book basic principles of curriculum and instruction and yeah that's enough question number 87 which among the following learning material uh, uh, is related to ict okay uh, you have whiteboard globe chart textbook 
yeah answer is a white board this is needed for even uh, ICT this information and communications technology ICT so uh, using uh, ICT you can teach nowadays so there are uh, you uh, you know some uh, you know materials which are needed uh, are laptops projects and you you, you may need a printer but you, you uh, also need whiteboards okay you might have seen nowadays when there are online teachings uh, taking place uh, they use whiteboard for, of course or sometimes the interactive whiteboard 88 the distinguished german astronomer who proved the elliptical movement of planets around the uh, sun johannes kepler ptolemy alexander fleming rebelais yeah the answer is kepler johannes kepler and he's pr proved the elliptical movement of planets around the sun okay this kind of a movement elliptical oval shape 89 the indian leader to whom the british called the father of indian unrest the father of indian unrest whom did the britishers call like the father of indian unrest options are subhash chandra bose balagangatha tilak Captain Lakshmi and Nehru. Answer is uh, Bal Gangada Tilak. Okay. He was born in 1856 and died in 1920. He uh, uh, is the sometimes called the first leader of Indian independence movement. Uh, he has also got the title Lokmanya. Might have heard this. Lok. Lokmanya. Okay. This means accepted by people. Lokmanya. And uh, Gandhi actually called him the maker of modern India. Gandhi called, called Balganga Dartilak the maker of modern India. Question number 90. The capital of British India was shifted from Calcutta to Delhi. Calcutta to Delhi. It was in 1911. 91. The majority of people of Latin America speak the language. Options are German, English, Arabic or Spanish. Majority of people, majority people of Latin America speak Spanish. Okay, uh, this is the language of countries like Colombia, Argentina, Venezuela, Peru, Chile, uh, etc. Then uh, the second most spoken language uh, in Latin America is Portuguese. Actually, Portuguese. Portuguese uh, uh, is spoken in countries like Brazil. 92. The 2014 Arjuna Award winner Tom Joseph is associated with the, the game. This question is from Current Affair. And you have to be familiar with uh, the awards, national and you know state awards. And you don't need to be aware of the uh, old uh, awards. You have to be aware, of course, aware of the current awards, national and state awards. So this answer is volleyball. It's Tom Joseph is associated with volleyball, and he's from Kerala, actually from Kodi Question number ninety-three. 
the French economist who won the Nobel Prize in 2014. Answer is Jean, Jean Tyrol. So 94, the parliament passed the Right to Information Act in 2007, 2005, 2006 or 2008. Answer is 2005, Right to Information Act in 2005. The nationalist who took a leading role in the formation of Congress Socialist Party or CSP as a protest against compromising politics of Gandhi. Gandhi. Okay. Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, Bhagat Singh, Jay Prakash Narayan, C.R. Das. Answer is Jay Prakash Narayan. And he is sometimes called Log Nayak. Okay, he was born in 1902 and died in 1979. And he is sometimes known as the hero of Quit India Movement. Hero of Quit India Movement. 96, the historic Quit India, uh, Quit India Revolution was passed on 8th August 1942 at Bombay, Meerut, Nagpur, or Benares. And so it's Bombay. So it was during the World War II. Quitting the movement was all about demanding an end to British rule. 97. The two pillars of Gandhian philosophy are probably the simplest version. Bravery and sympathy, heroism and leadership, fasting and praying, truth and nonviolence. Of course, truth and nonviolence. 98. The act which provided separate communal electorate for the Muslims. The Mindomorli reforms of 1909. Monday Gutsam's for reforms of 1919. Act of 1892, the Act of 1935. Answer is the Mindo Morley reforms of 1909. This is also called Indian Councils Act of 1909. Indian Councils. Indian Councils uh, Act. Sorry, Indian Councils Act of 1909 okay it's a series of uh, reform measures enacted in 1909 by the british british parliament okay it is in this window only reform uh, muslims got the separate electorate okay muslims uh, can only uh, they were only able they were able to vote for their own candidate okay and the 99 the question the person to whom kobala krishna gokale acknowledged as his spiritual and political guru wc banerjee justice renate repeated Rabindranath Tagore or Sen Banerjee. Option is Justice Ranade. Last question, 100th question. It's actually from preposition part. Actually, I forgot to, you know, somehow I missed this question when I, you know, when I was doing this, that, that grammar part. Anyways, the question is don't pray dash other people's secrets. Don't pray with other or don't pray on, don't pray into or by. Yeah, answer is into. That's for today. So we have completed this previous questions analysis. And that I plan from tomorrow onwards, I, I may be starting the uh, model question series. Uh, in which you may have five to ten questions 
ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എവ്രി ഡേ വി കനോട്ട് സേ ഐ കനോട്ട് സേ എവ്രി ഡേ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് എവ്രി ഡേ ഐ മേ പോസ്റ്റ് ഫൈവ് ടു ടെൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഓക്കെ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വിൽ ബി ഫ്രം ദ ദ പാർട്സ് ഫ്രം തിയറി പാർട്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വിച്ച് ഐ ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഡൺ ഇൻ ദിസ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ചാനൽ യു കൻ സി ഓൺ ദ പ്ലേ ലിസ്റ്റ് മെത്തഡോളജി ഓഫ് ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ ഐ വിൽ ബി യു നോ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഐ വിൽ ബി ആസ്കിംഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഫ്രം ദോസ് പാർട്സ് ഓക്കെ theory part and uh, then uh, we can start discussing some of the topics uh, included in the syllabus uh, which are not likely to be changed okay uh, that's for today and if you like this video please like please like that's the important things please like the video and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet Thank you for watching.